Welcome back design students. So in this video we're going to create the Bifrost fluid system for our animation. Bifrost fluid systems emit from a piece of geometry so we need to create a cylinder that will emit our fluid particles. So let's create a cylinder and then move it up so it's inside of our cup. And let's switch to wireframe so we can make sure that we can see what we're doing. Now you need to make sure that it's kind of centered in your cup and then we're going to scale it up and the bigger this is the more fluids it will generate and then scale it out and move it up a little bit so that it's not interpolating or going through the walls of the glass something like that And make sure you have that piece of geometry selected and make sure you're in the FX menu set and then find Bifrost fluids click it and select liquid and then your geometry will sort of generate all these little blue particles here if you push play you'll see that they begin to drop and they'll drop right through your glass well that's certainly not what we want so Move your playhead back to frame one and make sure you have your Bifrost liquid selected. You can select it over here in the outliner and then select your glass as well and come up to the Bifrost fluids menu and select collider. And that now makes this glass a collider. And if we push play now, you will see that the particles will fall and kind of fill the glass. And since we have our animation running here, you'll also see that the glass begins to tilt and the water moves with it. Very slowly though. Particle systems are very demanding on your computer's hardware, so these things are going to happen very slowly. and then the particles will spill out of the glass and as they pick up speed they turn white. Now notice I'm missing my glass so what I need to do is push stop and move my other glass, my secondary glass, over a little bit so I can make sure that the water stream is pouring into it and then we need to make this glass a collider as well. So drag your, time, your playhead back to frame one Select the Bifrost liquid container in the outliner. Hold down shift to select your glass. Come up to Bifrost fluids and create another collider. So now we have two colliders in the scene. And when you push play, very slowly, you will see the animation happen and the water should fill your other glass. I'm not going to make you watch this. I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back in just a minute. And as you can clearly see, my, my water is now filling up my other glass and going from one glass to the other. So let's work a little bit on these particle settings. I'm going to push stop and move my playhead back to 1. Let's make sure that any droplets that hit our shadow plane here also um, don't go through it but collide with it as well. Select the um, liquid container, shift select the ground plane and create another collider. Now any particles that hit our ground will roll around as droplets. So once we have this um, fluid simulation set up here we really don't need this piece of geometry we created so let's select that and then if you come over here to the channel box you can turn off its visibility right here. So just click that and change it to off. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and set this thing up for our render by adding some materials and some lighting, and we'll adjust the particle settings a little bit, and then we can start to render. And I'll see you then.